I have here another question from Korea. So when treating CK4 in the subcutaneous level, if the hollowness of the cheek is, is still visible, how and what do you do? Would you increase the active number to 1 ml? And if you increase it, is there is a risk to see some lumpiness? Very good question. So, in some cases, when we have severe volume loss in CK4 area, you may double the dose. So the active number of CK4 is 0.5, but then we double the dose to 1 ml. In Asian patients, specifically Koreans, the attachments that we see in CK4 area make the technique very challenging. So my advice is, you inject 0.5, you, you withdraw the cannula, massage, 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 then come back, inject the other 0.5, massage, massage, massage. There are some cases that the hollowness goes towards the anterior compartment where CK5 is. And in those situations, instead of increasing the volume in CK4, you may also consider 1 ml in CK4 and 0.5 in CK5. So you have an improvement of the hollowness of the cheek area.